everyone. So, absolutely breaking news. Um, and something I kind of assumed would happen. Um, that you know, the members of Fiend Fall would quit, and especially a TD. Um, even though it's only one, that won't change the motion no confidence Simon Coveney. It shows that Fiend Fall isn't united. It isn't united. Um, and there is cracks starting to form, and people are getting fed up. And today, Mark McSherry handed in his resignation as a Fiend Fall TD. Obviously, he will fold against Simon Coveney, he will fold against the party. Um, and I just have to say to him, you know, he didn't put his money for us. He put, he put his people and what he thought was right for us. And, you know, I have to take my hat off to him. Because it takes guts, it really, really does take guts to stand up. Especially as he called himself, and this is the word, and he's dead right. He's dead right. He has the, and there's one person says he has the powers to do it. He called it the totalitarian di- dictatorship regime. And I, I totally undemocratic totalitarian dictatorship. He de- he's, he's, he's dead right, he's really, really dead right, and uh, you're fair play, it takes balls, it really, really does take balls. And I would say to Fianna Fáil TDs to leave, it, now is your chance to leave. Um, hopefully this is the start, um, that especially he, him having the balls to stand up and say no more, I'm not accepting that anymore, enough. Um, so you know, and if more of them follow, you know, the fair play to them, the fair play to them. And I would say to Kevin Castles um, and enter that, to leave Fianna Fáil and to join a different party or do anything. But staying in that party, obviously it's it's on his knees, where he's starting to be on his knees. Um, but fair play to me, it's just like a leech from TD. Um, obviously, probably there will be a by-election there. There will probably have to be a by-election to face the very seat. Um, so I, I'm assuming um, it's going to be interesting to see that. So we wait and see what happens. It'll be interesting to see that election. Um, but there will have to be. Um, there will have to be a by-election there. But um, you know, like again, I, like again, I, I assumed this would happen. He had voices before about it, um, and there is many other people in Fianna Fáil that were absolutely sick of it, and think it's gone down the Nazi hole, as you could say. Um, but you know, it takes it does take balls. It really, really does take balls, and you know, I have to say, I take my hat off them. Um, but like, it takes balls. It really, really does. Um. You probably can hear in the background and watching the two, but I can. Here's his letter. I'm not going to read it all out, but he, you know, it basically says everything I would say. But um, you know, but fair play to him. Really, really, really fair play to him. Um, you know, with the letter, it's there. It's there in full. If you want to just pause the screen to see it, I don't know if you can see that well, but it's on his Twitter account. Um. Yeah. So um, you know, fair play to him. Um, but you know, again, it's good to see him put his he put there because many people. Uh, annoyed about this, let's be honest. Many people are annoyed that it's, it's totally biased. It was totally biased for Sir Catherine's vote. Nobody was, nobody else was asked. It was just biased. Again, Fianna and Gay are taking care of their own people. Um, and that's really it. Um, and people were not happy with that. And, you know, and the majority of Fianna Fáil TDs and Fianna Gay TDs and Green Party TDs are going against the will of their constituencies in voting for, si- voting for favor of Simon Coveney. Because we know that if it did, like, take for example Fianna Fáil TDs tonight, which could happen, two or three of them could vote against the party just in pure ignorance of me, if me, Hal Martin. But this is the next bit too. They have totally six TDs, Fianna Fáil, same as Sinn Féin, so they're on equal level now. Um, so take for example the Green Party and off in the morning, which I don't think so, I think Gavin Ryan's probably asleep somewhere. Um, but you know, they're basically on level power. And you know, that's how, it's hard to believe that Fianna Fáil, that was the party that governed for so long, along with Fianna Gael, but Fianna Fáil was more empowered power than Fianna Gael. Um, but it was always a one or two system. But it was always Fianna Fáil that nearly was in power for a long, long time. Fianna Fáil was in power more than Fianna Gael. But it was always Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael, probably Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael. But it was more Fianna Fáil than Fianna Gael. Um, especially over the last few years. Um, it was more, always majority Fianna Fáil. But anyway, um, quite a shock. That's all I say. So let me know what you think. Uh, who do you think will get in if there's a by-election? I'm sure there will be a by-election. But fair play to Mark Mosheri. Um, and I do wish him all the best. Maybe he might join another party into, um, you got no so he could join an independent. He could be an independent like Shapey or Wiley when he left um, as a county council in Cavan, um, which caused a huge eruption in Fianna Fáil because he was there for a long, long time in Fianna Fáil and he just left. Um, and it caused a lot of eruptions. And Mihal Martin even had to go on the local radio to try and, cover, to try and c- contain the damage, I suppose. But anyway, take care, everybody, and bye.